Take a seat. Thank you. Um, my name is Beatrice, and I show you what I shall learn. Yes, Lemani. Thank you for coming on time. Uh, I take my work very seriously. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. And so you told me over the phone that you would need my legal services. Yes, I did. Uh, and may I know what type of legal services it is? Well, um, it's complicated. Complicated is my thing. Okay, um, just one second. Someone must join us for this meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, so give me a second. I will get through to the person. Yes, um, um, please send him in. Thank you. Okie dokie. So, yes, come in. Oh, welcome, Mr. James? Beatrix. What's going on here? I, I thought this was a business meeting. Is this who was it waiting for? What kind of a game is this? And why am I here with him? I can't believe this. I really can't believe this. Please calm down, Mr. James. If you don't mind, please take a seat. Oh, God. I know this is very confusing, but um, I beg you that please just take a seat and let me explain, okay? I promise you it's very important. So, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Aisha Lamani, and I am a marriage counselor. And some concerned people close to the both of you asked me to do this. And who are these people that will not mind your business? Did you pick them? It's only our family members that know about our issues. Mm -hmm. But my people won't do this, no. They won't because they don't have the time to poke nose like her sister. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure that it's her sister who did this. Then why are you bringing my sister into this? <laughs> I'm very sure that you're very busy buddy, mother. Did you hear her? There she goes again. Talking about my mother with no respect. Well, all I am saying is your family cannot even afford to pay a counselor. Did you just insult my family? Did you just refer to my sister as a poke noser? Look, bitches, I will take this from yeah, you. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Mr. and Mrs. Oka. Just listening to the two of you, it's obvious that there's a big problem. But whatever it is, all I ask for is one hour of your time. And I think it's worth a try. If it doesn't work out, then both of you can walk away. Alright, just one hour. That's fine. I'm sure it's a big waste of time. But just so I don't look like the devil. Let's get on with it. She might want to start by asking him why he's wearing a feminine perfume. Okay. I'm not wearing a feminine perfume. Mm, what are you wearing then? You know what? I wish your sense of smell would be able to translate to a sixth sense so you'd be able to see beyond your nostrils. Oh, if there's anyone that cannot see beyond their nostrils, then it's you. Can't you see that I'm the best thing that can ever happen to you? <laughs> you? The best thing that has happened to me? Damn right. Oh, please. But please, too. Can you imagine this? <laughs> What makes you think you're so important? I think you should come up with something else. Stay on man. I hope you don't mind if I address you by your first names. It's alright. But I can't say that about you. I don't mind. If I may ask, how long have you been married for? Two years. Six months, seven days, five hours, and maybe 45 miserable. Miserable. You just heard that. Miserable, right? Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Okafu, has it always been like this? In fact, it was great before marriage and a few months after marriage. She was everything I ever wanted in a woman. I mean, Everything was just so wonderful the first year of our marriage. <laughs> oh, sweetie, I really can't believe this. I can't believe it. We've 
moved into a better house. <laughs> I've got a new job. And most importantly, I've got you forever. Oh, it's so <laughs> sweet. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you know, I told you everything would fall into place. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. So, now that we have here, hmm. I think it is time we started having our babies and start up a family. Hmm. I think I like the sound of that. You do? <laughs> and you know what else I'm thinking? What? Thinking that maybe we should start the job of making babies oh, right oh, now. Oh, no, 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 where do you think you're going without having breakfast? It's 8 a.m. already. I don't want to be late. So you want to have breakfast? Look, sweetie, I just told you it's 8 a.m. already. You know what? I'll just find something to eat at work. Oh, no, no way. I mean, there is no way I'm letting you eat food that I'm not sure of. Baby, I don't want to be late. Okay, okay, fine. But look, this should be the last time I'll let you leave the house for work without having breakfast. Okay, ma'am. Can I go now? Yes, you can. Good morning. Who is this? Oh, my. Actually, baby, I wanted us to talk about it when you get back from work. So I contacted this agency and told them we needed their help. And yeah, her name is Agnes. Agnes, my husband. Okay. This is Tomit, sir. You know what? I can't deal with this right now. Have a good day, baby. So tough, I see. No, um, you know where the kitchen is now? Yes. Yes, um, you need to also know where the laundry room is. All you need to do is familiarize yourself with the rest of the house. Okay. Yes, and I will see you at four. Okay. Yes, so I'm in a hurry myself. Need to get to work. So, yes, um, one more thing, Agnes. Your makeup. You need to tone it down. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And your English. Keep it simple. Ah. <laughs> oh, that out. <laughs> ah, eh, eh, you know, say, I like to express my, eh, my feelings, I, my character. Okay. Um, but you, you, you can as well maybe speak pigeon. It's a lot easier. <laughs> that eh? I will re reduce myself, my watani. Ah, when I do graduation, I graduate for uh, adult education. Eh? Even for class, now make come first. One, one. I graduate with one, one. For my class, as a people pass everybody there. Yeah, let go. Now me, all of them they look up to. And Baba Sikiru, ah, all of them are coming here. You know, stop here anything. If you just Agnes, Agnes, this me, he make a kiss you want to wear up. For my class, we were writing yes, Sam, yes, Sam, listen. That day, ah, I just broke my daughter. We say bad day. If the vigilator don't stand like this, the worst. Ah, who the class is in trouble? It means say, ah, if you go, I sabi book where we go. One mama yabola. Ah, oh, Lord, no, 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 sabi. Bodo, bodo, bodo. A cario, doro, doro, sabres. Copy, copy. Right. Copy, copy. Facilitator, pass him. Ah! Yabola begin say, hey, look, wait. I don't feel no. I don't feel. Now it's the letter. Ah! Ah! Hey, Agnes! Police. Huh? Eh? Will you? No, first. No story, I didn't listen. You know what, please, Agnes? Just speak your English, please. Uh -huh. Speak it. Okay. Thank you. Don't mess up. Oh, goodness. Let's see, I can't talk now. Say, I'm just doing an essay narration. Woo! Hey, baby. Yes. 
back? Oh yes, I'm back. So how's work? <sighs> As usual. Have you been here for long? Not really. Uh, we'll just see about uh, 15 minutes. Oh, and then you must be hungry. I'm not really hungry though. <sighs> um, I'll go and get something for us to eat, okay? Really? You still want to make dinner? Aren't you tired? Of course I'm tired, but my husband has to eat. Alright, you know what? How about we go together to the kitchen? And I will display to you my legendary cooking skills. Oh, Tell Jay and the beauty. You know I'm good, yes. That's me. <laughs> That's good because I need someone to help me out as well. Anything yeah. for my food. I know, so. Love you, Tokyo. Okay. I'm like so good. I like us from the group. Every time I could just say, if only in the morning, I notice a love they flow for this house. And I just they follow myself like carrot and rabbits. It's good though. They make the house stay peaceful. Eh? No fighting. Can you just no go fighting. straight to the point? Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, the same thing now. I say, now they do love, love. I like them. Yeah. Anyway, I say, make I can't inform us. You say, I don't finish all the work. I won't go out. Okay, so we'll see you tomorrow. Ah. Yes. Um, Agnes, huh? don't be late. Ah, I'll let I go come tomorrow. Jack, yeah, early morning. Thank you, Olga. Right. Don't mess up. Bye bye. <laughs> see how you pick that girl from? Speaks funny. Baby, look, you need to ease up a little. Ease up? Did, did you hear? <laughs> Informatting, <laughs> like admit. with carrots and. Uh. Admit it. I know she talks funny. But at the same time, she is funny. And you know, baby, we need a little fun in this house. It's just too serious in here. Well. <laughs> I mean, she just compared us to carrots and... I uh, think you are the rabbit and I am the carrot. <laughs> wait, no, oh wait for me. I'm the one doing the cooking. Oh, I know. Yeah. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Beatrice, you know, anytime you feel like losing your temper or you want to flip, I want you to take a deep breath in and think of the first good thing that comes to mind. Everything was perfect. I mean, we were living the kind of life we dreamt of. He was a perfect gentleman. And he was cool with everything I did. All of a sudden, he didn't just like who I was anymore. Well, you weren't who you were again. You had changed to something else. Oh, he says I changed. Maybe he isn't aware that he was the one who was doing the changing. Once I started working, he didn't care about my needs anymore. He was just about what he wants. He knew I had a demanding job and he was willing to help out in the house whenever I fall short. But then he started demanding things he knew I could not do because of the kind of job that I do. Just you want me to quit? I'll do whatever you want. Okay, good. At least we've established that things were good at the beginning. And then along the line it went bad. I want you guys to trace your steps to where it damaged, or as you guys would say, the change occurred. In order to do this, we're going to perform an exercise that I do with most of my clients, and it has worked perfectly. You guys will tell each other what you hate about yourselves. And if possible, you can give an example of where such a character exhibited itself. Let's start with you, James. All right, fine, but why just a few? When I could fill a basket up with things I don't like about her. Oh, please, who likes anything about you? Beatrice. Let him talk. And James, please start with the important ones. Mother, I believe you do cook for your husband, right? Yes, I do most of the time. Thank you! Thank you very much! Now, that's one quality, one very important quality that she lacks. 
A good wife should make sure that her husband is well fed. But whenever I try to tell her this, she starts a fight. Oh, wait, wait, did I just say she starts a fight? She actually brings war. Oh, no, 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 no! You need to say that about Are you trying to deny it? How did I? Deep breath, Beatrice. And Jesse just liked two of my pictures on Instagram. I'll sneak up. Tell me the reason you said I do. Was it for a season or a time? <gasps> I'm talking to you, you won't walk away from me! Please, come back here and make my food! Oh, James, why are you so insensitive? Huh? I just told you I had a long day at work and you do not even care! Look, James, my work is very important to me and if you will not support me with it, do not distract me with petty things like this! Petty? So you mean me asking for my food is being petty? James, Agnes can stop making... No, 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 don't, don't even mention that name! I told you from the beginning that you are the only one allowed to touch my food. Not that, that thing, I don't know where you brought her from. Oh, come on, James. If this is not 1975, you stop already with all this archaic notions that you have. Oh, God, how did I end up with a nagging husband like this? Oh, oh so now I'm nagging. Now I'm nagging because I need my food. But earlier in this marriage, it was a crime if I didn't eat your food. But now I am nagging. Is it because you've risen in your, in your practice? You now insult me? <laughs> you know what, James? Sort yourself out. I should do it. Bitch, come back here! You go and you sleep in this house and you don't make That is not how it happened. All right, Mrs. Noido, tell us exactly how it happened. Oh, yes, I will. When I was getting into this marriage, I thought I was getting married to my life partner and not to someone so self-centered. Like I said, I take my job very seriously, but that does not mean that I do not also take care of my responsibilities at home. The night he talked about, I came back home very late and very tired. He didn't want to know how my day went. He didn't want to know if I was tired or not. He immediately demanded for his food. All he wants was food that was freshly cooked. With James, there is no frozen food. Food has to be freshly cooked for him. Maybe you take your work way too seriously. Maybe you need to understand that you are first my wife before a lawyer. Maybe you need to know how to be a good wife. Because most of those small girls, they do. As a matter of fact, I think they play the role better than you do. Okay, that's enough, James. You see? Now, this is one of the things I do not like about him. The fact that he jokes with these things. Well, that is even if he, 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 he thinks it's a joke in the first place. You know what, James? I actually suspect that you're having affairs with other girls. Answer my question, James. What girl are you talking about? No, you thought I would not find out that you had a girl in your car this morning and that this is not the first time it's happening? Beatrice, please, please, can we not just do this right now? No, oh, no, James, you're trying to shove the question aside. Answer me. You know, it's really nice to see you jealous. But it would make better sense if that jealousy would push you to be a better wife. Or perhaps you want me to pick up a second wife. And with the way you've been acting recently, don't complain if that really happens. How do you even tell your wife that you're ready to bring in another woman? Mm -mm. Point of correction. I didn't tell you I was bringing home another woman. I told you that you shouldn't complain if I do that. If you do that? Yes. That shouldn't even be a probability in the first place. Look, I do agree that I must have said some things to make her feel like I was cheating on her. But that's not the problem. No, 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 that's not the problem. The real problem there is that she doesn't trust me. By the way, she didn't even tell you that I explained to her who exactly that girl was and what she was doing in my car. All right, fine. Her name is Grace. She's a friend and she's a colleague. Sometimes I pick her up when I'm going to work and I drop her off when I'm coming back. <laughs> 
clap for yourself, good Samaritan. Tell me, James, why does it have to be you to pick her up and drop her off? Because she's my friend and also my colleague. Well, her car has been messed up for a while now, so I'm just being a gentleman. Oh, Lord. So you know virtually everything about her. You know where she lives, you know when her car broke down, you know every detail about this girl. James, I know you very much. And I know the kind of girls you get attracted to. Okay. Tell me. This Grace. What does she look like? So you expect me to describe her to you? Yes. All right. All right. Fine. For the sake of peace, because I'm tired of all this quarrel. <clears throat> well, she's tall. She's curvy. She speaks fluently. She... She has a pointed nose and um, she has a good laugh. She's a very friendly person. She's someone who knows how to make you laugh, how to, you know. What else do you want? I mean, what else? <laughs> Beatrice. You, you've been lost. Mm. No. I don't tire. I don't tire for this work. What is it? Is it something you want to talk about? You might begin, Papa. Papa said. What about him? No be away. Me and Papa said one we don't suffer, suffer, suffer. We struggle, money to come build, and one of self can pay for ourselves. They live. Small time, we just change the color. And so we begin to do anyhow. If I ask her for money, you say you no get. Say, I give me money for school fees for second. You say you no get. You eh? just they do like that, they do like that. Me and I feel no say, you don't keep another one for one corner. Eh? Hey, this thing get away with the toxic. Now, they get away with the cell and the hair guy. Now, I'm to go. Now, so this girl, every time we see, ah, yeah, second, hey, where well don't go? I mean, you won't buy this. I know they say, sit down, they want to house, you want to take, carry all our load. Carry our load, come back for my house. And so they get packed and out. Me, I can't be content. Now, see me now. I don't know what I want to drink. You think don't I am? Ah, madam, what thing happen? Now, me, they talk the story. Now, you, they cry the cry. I'll be something enter your eyes. Eh? No oh, pity for me. No one to why I'm not back. I don't surrender. I know what I want to do. Until when I pray, pray, God will go carry that girl. Because she come off from my house. I don't know what I have to do. I don't know if you fight, fight, will not be my own. I don't try. I don't go die for my hand. See, as I said, the money, if I collect salary, I take care of my people. Come here. James. James is having an affair.
I've been receiving text messages from one grace girl. People have been seeing them together. said I do Was it for a season or a time I think you guys are getting it all wrong Tonya Tonya Did you ever think that I'll survive without you Away from your family members. Oh, thank God you said family members. I mean, they have a right to know that the man they've done so much for is nothing but a lying chick. So, because your family helped me get on my feet, that gives them the right to run my family for me. And it's not jobless. Do not insult my family. Oh, I shouldn't insult your family, but you brought them in. By the way, tell that your stupid sister to invest her time looking for a husband instead of trying to meddle in other people's affairs. <laughs> Don't you ever try that again. So I swear you won't like my reaction. Her sister, that I'm cheating on her. Can you imagine? I mean, she brings her sister into everything. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm married to her or to her sister. Well, she is my sister. So she's family. I mean, who am I even supposed to talk to about it? Yes, because the only one I'm supposed to talk to about it is the same person betraying my trust. And I didn't mean to slap him. I just lost my temper. Oh, really? Well, maybe I should also lose my temper and retaliate. Yes, maybe I should start losing my temper too. Maybe all those nights that you deprived me of sex, I should lose my temper. We're not talking about our sex life here. I mean, our sex life is not the issue here. No, 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 was it for a season or a time? Where's the happiness I used to know? Was it for a season or a time? Did you ever think that I'll survive without you? sexy tonight and all I want to do is eat you up. Stop, stop me, James. Okay. Did I do anything wrong? You didn't do anything. Look, right. I am just not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. You're always not in the mood. Two days ago, it was the same story. You know what, look. I'm really getting sick and tired of all of this. It's really frustrating. Oh, you think this is frustrating? You think it is frustrating, James? Here with you, it is nothing other than sex, sex, sex. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you did something other than sex with me? When? I, I really don't understand why you're vibrating now. Beatrice, 
You are hardly around. And now that we are together, you are not in the mood. Tell me the reason you said I do Was it for a season or a time? Where's the happiness I used to I, know? I really don't get it. I mean, is it a crime to want to make love to my own wife? Must it always be about sex, James? Why are you so unromantic? When was the last time you did something romantic for me? When was the last time you did something that I wanted to do? And if you weren't so self-centered, you would have noticed that I was not in a good mood throughout that day. And you, James, were the cost of it. I, I, I cost what? I can't get her! You should go figure that out yourself. No, 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 Beatrice. You need to let him know everything. That's what this whole exercise is about. Baby, can you imagine that? That silly boy. He actually thought he could dupe me off my money. I mean, how smart does hey, he? Hey, everybody. This is another day in the lives of the Okafas. Now, uh, meet my darling husband. Jim, you have to say hello for this one. He is so adorable. And he is, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. James, what did you do this for? Beatrice, I have told you time without number. Now, I don't like this Snapchat nonsense that you do. So? So? Is that why you pushed me off like that? God, James, what if you had hurt me? God, what, what is so wrong about fronting my husband on my Snapchat? You don't have to take your private life public. You don't have to. And please, whatever you want to do, just leave me out of it. If you want to do this, your nonsense Snapchat thing, leave me out of it! You know what, James? James! I think you have something to hide. Oh, yes, you have something to hide! Because there's only men who have skeletons in their cupboard that do not let their women front them on their social media. You're trying to turn it around on me now? Is that it? into a nuisance. Do you know that she's constantly chatting and doing that Snapchat thing where we're trying to have some alone times? Look at that. A classical example. I'm trying to have some quiet time with my woman, which hardly happens because she's always busy and working. But then, she'd rather be paying attention to that social media instead of me. Mother, what happens? Eh? Why is she shouting like that? It's a guy, soldier. Eh? I've never seen your girlfriend this way. What happens now? Hey, hey. it's you. It's okay. Ah. When I got my first job, you put it online. When I got my first car, you put it online. But you could also just put it online when we're having sex. What's wrong with you? Even when we're having fights, days at home, you put it online that we are the perfect couple. What kind of pretense is that? Look, Beatrice, I have had enough of this rubbish! I've had enough! Yeah. It wasn't good. It wasn't a good day. But I will fill you guys up with details later. For now, I need to go. See you guys later. James. What is so wrong about keeping up with the times? I mean, everybody is on social media. It's not my fault that you're old school. Old school? <laughs> Look, Beatrice, some moment in a couple's life is meant to be private. You shouldn't allow social media to influence your lifestyle. Beatrice, stop trying to be like everybody. Ah, oh, James, James, James. <sighs> you know what your problem is? I, I think you're too judgmental. And you draw conclusions easily. 
And what is even worse is the fact that whatever you see that you're wrong, obviously wrong, you find it very hard to apologize. Do you know what? I am starting to think that there is something else to this resentment that you are not saying. Heavenly Father, Father, I receive the fruit of the womb. I receive the fruit of the womb, mighty Jesus. Whatever this is coming from, whoever has tied my womb, is it from my family? Is it from my husband's family? I am very sure it's from my husband's family because they don't like me. But you shout! Can't you just pray like a civilized human being? After all, it's not like you pray all the time. It's only when your emotions get the best part of you. Ah! What do you mean about this? Do you think Jesus has a hearing problem? Look, it's the way I'm going to get some sleep. I don't have to. You better stop this rubbish you do. You better stop it. I don't want to be sharpest. What the rubbish? Ah! Shut up, all the place. Can you mark him? There's a happiness I used to know. Did you ever think that I'll survive without you? So, there I was, crying. And he just left me there, without apologizing for his words till today. I was just trying to make my point. James. I think this is the time you need to use the magic five letter word. Just say it. You can't say something that hurtful to your wife and not apologize for it. You hit a nerve there. And the process of getting a kid is a two way thing. I'm sorry. Tell her why you're sorry. Never think that I'll survive without you. said I do Was it for a season or a time